What's going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are going to watch today a clip from the Super Mario Brothers movie. I think this was released at the Game Awards. John, how are you? I am Game-tacular. How are you? Doing good. Thanks for joining me. If you guys didn't catch my Jedi Survivor reaction, that is up here on the channel right now. I love Fallen Order, so I was excited to check that trailer out. Alrighty, let's see what's in store. Leave a like, the like button, leave it a like. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> nice. Excuse me, everybody. Coming through. Got a big adventure happening right now. Just leave a pass for us. That's a good toad voice. There you go. Excuse me. Definitely Excuse pitched him up. <laughs> this guy's brother is going to die imminently. <laughs> oh, Just trying to clear a path. That's all I'm doing. He's going to be fine. Shantrell. <laughs> nice to see you, bud. Look at this world building. Uh, hey. <laughs> Earth. Yes, great. Oh, this is just Easter eggs galore. Yeah. And up we go. Wait up. Bum, 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 bum. Hearing a little bit of that voice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been there. I've been there, buddy. <laughs> Get the sound design and the music. It's great. Oh. Okay, so these bricks are just floating here. Uh, just pop in this pipe and we're on our way. Oh. It's the only way to fly, man. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, wow. Love these pipes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 Classic. <laughs> oh. Got it left. Here we are. Got to have Palace it. doors. Big, big boom. Oh, that star platform. Mushroom Kingdom. Still barely hearing Chris Pratt's voice. I know. <laughs> Trying to get a proper assessment on how I feel about his voice. Such an up and down experience. But everything else was, was grand and beautiful <laughs> to look at. I mean, that was like a no brainer to me. I thought it looked, it was just harkening back to so much of the gameplay. There's so many just little, little tiny background Easter eggs throughout, but I was really appreciative of especially the sound design, invigorating that into your film. Yeah. Toad's voice sounds excellent. Uh, is Keith Michael Keel? Yeah, they must yeah. have pitched him way up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sounds uh, to me, it sounds just uh, absolutely excellent. Yeah. I like and it. then the classic tube pipe. Yes, thank you. Yeah, man. Great sound design there. It's a great blend, I think, really, because it brings the world to life in a way that is more immersive, like a full-on movie. Because, you know, like the game's sound designs are particular in the facts of what they're accentuating for your actual gameplay experience. But yeah, here to hear it fleshed out with, you know, additional just you know street sounds and then the music is really fun like and upset as people have been about mario's design himself like watching him move around i'm like this this feels like you made an open world mario game basically uh, I feel like people are over it now yeah i feel like maybe it's like the last it's hurdle really the is the voice <laughs> and even for me like you catch a little bit of his voice when he's like oh what is this this tope thing you know and, and you know he sounds like a new jersey guy he sounds Again, still sounds like Rocket Raccoon to me, but even watching this, I was like, ah. Rocket Raccoon? Yeah, he kind of sounds like Rocket Raccoon to me. You know, really? Rocket's got that kind of, you know, he's got that thing, you know. It's not great Rocket, <laughs> but, you know, he's got a similar accent, at least in what I'm gleaning here. I'll take it over everybody thinking that Chris Pratt's just going to talk like Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the ex the way they've uh, animated the expressions, too, feels human to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And the way Mario's designs are, like, I really think they've brought that to life in a great way. Mm -hmm. Like, I enjoy the references of, like, everything with, like, the Super Mario World, Super Mario 3. Like the map looks great, the Mushroom Kingdom and all that. And I think what I'm enjoying about what we're getting with Mario thus far is the fact that he seems like such a fish out of water. Like you get so used to over the years playing as Mario where some of these reactions are a little bit more slight. Like when he is jumping platforms and stuff, yeah. sometimes they do add in like a, oh, you know, like a tiny bit. But here he looks truly terrified yeah. a lot of the time <laughs> and really scared. And even when he's going up the, 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 the tube... He's like banging around and everything like that. And uh, you get so used to over the years playing confidently as Mario that I think they're doing a really great job at putting him in place as this character who 
really needs to learn some skills and really needs to learn how to operate around the Mushroom Kingdom and operate in this landscape. As he's the titular character going up against such a big baddie, he has a big obstacle to overcome. It's not just going to be a walk in the park for him. I really like that quality. And, you know, as much as I'm still working my brain around Chris Pratt's voice because he's the only voice that I hear. I don't know if it's just my mental association of I'm aware it's Chris Pratt, so I put a little bit more emphasis on my my critical subconscious <laughs> ear on it, you know? Or like when I still have that, even if I wasn't aware it's Chris Pratt doing it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, is that interfering with it? I will we'll say, though, that the few times where the camera was on him and then he was speaking, I think it matches well. Like, it doesn't sound at all to me like what I thought Mario would sound like whatsoever. I know you don't want to do your like uh, it'd be annoying after a while it just sound like that right it sound like a noise the entire time but i still think like the way it matches like the 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 facial i mean the the mouth vocal movement with his lips and mouth and all that you know what i mean sometimes it look like a little bit off but it matches well with that at least yeah so my point with that being is i imagine that it'll be a simple enough experience to slip into when you're watching it, even if you're like, hey, it's not the Mario voice I really wanted, but for the movie, it works. And I think that's ultimately what's going to even matter is like, but for the movie, it works. Yeah, absolutely. Because, I mean, this is a fresh coat of paint on everything, and, and I think it's doing a nice job to show us that, like, yeah, this is very much uh, spawned from people who are, you know, in love and know Mario well. And I feel like certain things will change and certain things will stay familiar. And here, I, like, part of me wonders what their motivation is because I'm like, they could quash all of this internet mumbling if they just put out a full scene of him talking. But yeah. at the same time, I feel like they're also sort of teasing us and, and using the voice as almost this kind of carrot at the end of a stick. But I, I, I get the impression as of now that, yeah, once you watch a few minutes of just, you know, consecutive movie with all that breathing room, it'll probably click into place. You know, it's like hearing the 8-bit things, but in, you know, this sort of lush, polyphonic, you know, realization, especially in the scoring and stuff like that. And I I don't know. Like, I, I feel like at least, again, the hints that they're giving us give me a hope. They're, they're not making me angrier, and I'm just taking that as a sign. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Because I feel like it could easily take things in that direction yeah, definitely. for me. But yeah, and I love what you said, too, about his being a fish out of water, because I think there are a lot of times where you have a property like this that is so big and prolific for a lot of people where you think, oh, do we really need that? But I think here it's a really nice choice because, yeah, on a movie scale and especially redefining from the 90s movie, mm -hmm. I think it makes a lot of sense to jump everybody in through this perspective and then sure we can watch mario go on to be like a fully accomplished adventurer and all that stuff i don't know yeah like his attitude mario's kind of cute like nobody really talks about mario that way but like he's endearing here at least in the animation and i kind of love that the animation itself is able to lead that and you know is able to endear me just based on you know spending a few minutes in the world it doesn't feel like we're just in another despicable me all righty well i mean i enjoy the clip yeah super mario brothers movie clip what do you guys think of it did you like it Leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a like. Last month, least since with a pic. <laughs> Pandemic Jones. PJ, listen, buddy. I just want to hop in here real quick and tell you, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Let us know what you get for Christmas yeah. this year. I hope you're able to gift people with your presence, that loving presence of yours. And for 2023, I just got a lot of shit that just came out of me. It stays in the video. For 2023, I hope that you are able to make boatloads of money and you're able to convert those boatloads of money into increasing your pledge at Patreon. Because let's face it, that's your real goal in life, to just contribute more to the Real Rejects Patreon page. Right, you're a good guy for doing that, and I respect the hell out of you, buddy. Mm -hmm.